Hi there, I am Giuseppe Corcella from Virtual Orchestration and today I'm going to review Cinema Grand by Sound Magic. First of all, I want to thank Sound Magic for kindly sending us a copy of the library's review. Cinema Grand features two pianos, Cinema Blutner, which is a Blutner indeed, and Cinema Blue, which is a Stanway and Sons. The technology used on this product is the hybrid modeling technique which is basically a combination of sampling and modeling technology which lets you expand what you can do with an acoustic instrument with the playability of a modeled instrument. I warmly suggest you to check out the Sound Magic website to find out more about the technologies they use to deliver their products. It usually sells for $199 and it works in the Neo Piano engine. Neo Piano Engine really lets you work on a lot of aspects of the sound itself, of the piano, so you actually have a chance to customize it and create your own sound using the original one as a starting point. The sympathetic resonance can help you add the realism to the sound and just above it you can work on the damping. In the low right corner you can change the dynamic curves and the dynamic range. Then you can also change the volume of some noises like pedal strings and hammers. The style parameter includes a few sound presets based on different musical styles. And once one is selected, you can bring it in using the level knob. You can also change the tuning of the instrument and of course here you have a reverb with a few parameters and the choice of different rooms. You can also change the harmonics, tone using a 3-band EQ and microphone perspective mixing together the player and the audience faders, making the sound closer or farther from the mics. AI tool, when enabled, detects automatically the dynamic and the pedal responses. Okay, let's hear now how the library sound. Let's start with the Cinema Blutner, a very expressive piano, even on soft dynamics. One last thing, if you click here, you have a number of presets you can choose from to get a particular setting or to use them as a starting point.
Let's now play around with the cinema blue, a stenoid piano with a mellow sound.
Ok, this is a very nice library. I think I like more the sound of the Steinway, but they are both great instruments. I really like that they are so different. The Blutner is softer and you have to press hard to make it play loud, while the Steinway has a more resolved sound. The dynamic range is incredible. You really can go from very loud dynamics to very soft dynamics, and this definitely increases the realism of the instrument. I like also that you have a lot of parameters to shape the sound, yet remaining into the acoustic world. The sound without a reverb is quite dry, especially on the player perspective, which is a good thing in my opinion. And the sound itself is very good, very realistic. Ok, it's all for today, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to support virtual orchestration, subscribe to the channel, join our newsletter if you wish, hit the like button and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get notified as soon as we release a new tutorial or a new review. If you are new to the world of the virtual orchestration and you wish to learn more about it, or even if you are a pro or semi-pro looking to improve your skills, we offer private online lessons about virtual orchestration, mock-up programming and how to use Dorico Sibelius, Cubase and Logic Pro. Get in touch at info at virtualorchestration.it. I wish you a wonderful day and see you on the next review.